when you buy iPhone from apple.com and when you enter your Apple ID to buy iPhone, Apple would know when your new phone would arrive and also would know about your old phone or iPad. That is why iPhone would send you a notification on your old phone saying get ready for your new iPhone. Swap the message to the right side and tap on open. Then you should get this message saying prepare for your new iPhone. If you're not getting this notification you could then go to the settings and in the settings the section under your name you should get the same message saying get ready for your new iPhone simply tap on this so iPhone would make it very easy to transfer all your apps and data from your old phone or iPad to your new phone that's why iPhone would give you extra free iCloud storage so that you will be able to move everything to your new iPhone even if you have got limited iCloud storage because iCloud provides only 5 GBs free but for transferring your data from your old phone it would provide you extra free storage so tap on get started this feature uses end-to-end -end encryption because of that your Apple ID settings needs to be updated so tap on continue and Enter your Apple ID password, enter your iPhone's passcode, then you should get a message saying transfer apps and data with iCloud. It means when you are on Wi-Fi, your apps and data will be uploaded to iCloud so you can restore them to your new phone. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and then tap on start transfer. You might have some apps that were not using iCloud. So here you get an option saying whether you want these apps also to be transferred to iCloud so I tap on move all app data with iCloud setup is completed and it would take some time for iPhone to upload your apps and data to iCloud tap on done and you should see a message in here saying iCloud backup in progress and once the upload is completed then you should get the message in here saying your data is ready Ready to be moved to your new iPhone. This iCloud backup will be deleted in 21 days. So now you can turn on your new iPhone, swipe up and select your language, select your country. Then you should get this message saying bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. So bring your old iPhone near to this phone. Make sure the Bluetooth is also on on your old iPhone. Then after a few seconds on your old iPhone you should get a notification saying set up new iPhone tap on unlock to continue enter your passcode then you should get this 3d QR code appearing on your new phone so in order to connect the devices bring your old iPhone over the new one and scan this 3d code as soon as you do so then you should get a message saying finish on new iPhone and on your new iPhone it would ask you then to enter the passcode which is the passcode of your old iPhone so enter that keep both the phones close to each other depending on the size of the data it might take a while you can set up face id later by tapping on setup later here you got two options to transfer your data one is by using icloud which might take around 15 minutes and your data would be downloaded later on over wi-fi and the second option is to transfer data directly from phone to phone and it is estimated to take around 5 to 10 minutes and there are even other options available if you got a good Wi-Fi speed and unlimited data then I think the best way is to select download from iCloud so I select that then iPhone tries to set up your Apple ID read the terms and conditions and if you're happy tap on agree 
Basically, your new phone would look exactly as your old phone by transferring all your apps and data, settings, appearances, wallpaper, screen time, and more. You can select customize to select what to transfer if you don't want to transfer everything. But I just tap on continue to transfer all the apps and settings. Your old phone would start updating back up. You can set up payment or you can simply set up the wallet later. You can also set up Siri later in the settings. You can choose to share iPhone analytics or not. As we are continuing setting up on the new phone, on the old phone, you can see the message saying, enjoy your new iPhone. That means the data transfer is now completed. Now back to the setup. These are actually a few unique updates of iPhone 14, such as crash detection and emergency SOS via satellite. So tap on continue. If you had more than one Apple ID, Apple would know about that and would ask you to enter the passport of that Apple ID so that it could include purchases from App Store that you made with different Apple IDs. If you have enabled two-factor authentication, then you would have to enter the code. And finally, you should get this message saying restore from iCloud. It might take a while to transfer your data from iCloud cloud to your new phone then iphone will start loading again then swap up to open enter your passcode and then you should get a message saying restore completed apps and data will be downloaded in the background tap on continue set up later read terms and conditions and agree if you're happy set up later in wallet if you don't want to share then you can simply select not now and finally we get the message saying welcome to iphone you might get a few other messages which you can also select not now simply swap up to get started all my apps are in here from my old phone and as you can see some of them are loading and some of them are waiting my wallpaper is exactly the same as well as my old phone some apps you don't need to log in again it has automatically logged in but some apps you would need to log in again to be able to use them remember the extra storage on iCloud is temporary and it will be deleted very soon since you have completed your data transfer from your old phone. Photos and videos are also transferred from the old phone. Don't forget to watch my iPhone tutorials playlist for the latest videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel.